So what do you sell? Is it equipment? Software? Services? No! If you want your salespeople to sell more at higher margins and faster, you have to get them to stop selling your products and services and start selling what buyers buy. And what do buyers buy? Well, I'm glad you asked. Fundamentally, all buyers buy the same thing. They buy change. My name is Adrian Davis, and I help sales teams to stop leaving money on the table. A lot of sales organizations today are finding it harder and harder to make sales deals that are actually profitable. They find themselves having to engage in very steep discounting to get the deal across the finish line. I help them stop doing that. Buyers buy change, and that's why your sellers must sell stories because stories are about change. Every story has the same structure. Basically, there's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. The beginning is the setup. We introduce the characters. The middle is what makes the story. In the middle, there's uncertainty. There's chaos, there's confusion, there's conflict, there are obstacles. And at the end, there's the resolution. We overcome the obstacles and we achieve that desired outcome. Sales was choice A for me. A lot of uh, salespeople that I meet, uh, sales was choice B. They did something else and then they fell into sales. For me, I chose sales as my career. I wanted to be a professional salesperson right out of school and uh, did that for 20 years. And then for the last 16 years, I have been consulting with very large organizations all the way down to entrepreneurial organizations, helping them address major sales challenges in almost every industry. Buyers want change. Stories are about change. It's the uncertainty in the middle that makes the story. Let me rephrase that. Because if we went to a movie and there was the beginning, but no middle, just the end, we'd be unhappy, we'd be unsatisfied. But equally, if we went to a movie, and there was a beginning, and then there was the messy bit in the middle, but no resolution, we'd be unsatisfied. So stories are really about the overcoming of obstacles to get to the desired outcome. That's what your buyers want. One of the things I often hear from my clients about what makes me different, uh, they say it's my authenticity and my ability to bring clarity. In fact, one CEO once said to me that I put handles on knowledge that makes it so accessible and practical that, that their sales teams can implement it right away. Adrian, I'll tell you what, that, is, that guy's polished. He knows his stuff, he delivers his message, and it's stuff I'm gonna apply immediately. You know, I've been in sales all my life, and Adrian really hit the point that we're not buying the product, we're not buying the service, we're buying the result. We're buying the promise delivered. And I love the way he did that. He had such great examples, and he really got us to think about the important things in the world of sales. Love it. There have been sales speakers for a hundred years, but Adrian's the first one I've seen in a while that brought a really fresh and exciting approach. So he shared tools, but also helped share the philosophy behind those tools and helped make the ideas stick. Adrian was wonderful. One of the best presentations I've heard this year. And so repeatedly what I hear is that clients are able to engage bigger sales with bigger margins. And that is the number one feedback that I get from my clients. All of us are walking around with a movie playing in our mind. And we are the hero in that movie. When your salespeople show up saying that you're great, your products are great, your services are great, they're robbing the, the listener, the prospect, of that role of being the hero. Stop being the hero. Rather, be the special resource that enables the hero to get to their desired destination. Be the safest, the surest, and the shortest path to their desired outcome, and the sky's the limit.